going on, Creepers and Geekers? Atari Creep here, also known as Chris. Uh, I didn't post a video this weekend of any significance, um, mainly because of time, but I did want to post one here about this. First of all, one of the things I love collecting most uh, out of everything in this gaming uh, genre is, is controllers. I love controllers. I love finding wacky ones, ones for systems I don't have, I don't care about. Um, but you never know when you're going to walk into a Goodwill and find, you know, something like this for two or three bucks. Um, here's a small sampling of what I have already. Um, I'm not going to do a play-by-play -play on each one of them because obviously we've all played on the majority of these and we know how they work and we know what they do. But I figure I'd throw that pile on there to give you a good backdrop about what I am going to talk about and that would be this bad boy right here. What I got here is an N64 controller custom painted by a gentleman named Weston. And he has a little page on Facebook called uh, Rocket Customs with an S. It's just facebook.com forward slash Rocket Customs. And he just popped up on the scene. Um, I dug his work. I liked his page. Actually, I believe I first seen it on the Game of Geek Nation page. I can't remember who uh, posted it, but... Uh, yeah, so I checked his stuff out, and what he had had up there wasn't much, but it looked awesome. And he just kept expanding on that more and more. So to kick things off, he decided to give away one of his very first paint jobs. Um, I guess it was his personal controller for the past couple of years. And that's it. This is it right here. Um, i got to say, the, the, the paint job itself, as simple as it is, it looks cool. It gives it kind of an 80s, 90s flair with the, I can remember wallpaper with this kind of a pattern on it. Um, and it looks like he was just kind of going for an Art Deco kind of look there. Um, but what's really good about it is the clear coating. That's where a lot of people go wrong. And they don't wet sand or finish sand it, depending on how you want to say it, and then buff it out. And in this case, I don't know if he just used light layers of clear or if he actually did the wet sanding itself. But he did an excellent job. Everything's smooth. And, of course, the thumbstick was what I was worried about most, especially with a free controller. Um, it's, it's perfect. It works awesome. Um, look at the back there. He's got a couple of different colors there. Now, I know it looks like it's a gray controller just painted up. But it's, in fact, he painted it white and then did the, uh, the design on it. And the best part about it is, other than it was free and it was a giveaway, is it came with a matching memory card. How cool is that? I can't wait to plug this in and see what games he's got on there. Um, chances are he's probably better than me at some of these N64 games. So, um, And that's basically it. I just wanted to show that off real quick. I won it. Um, there was never any mention of Game of Geek Nation or my personal Atari Creep page. I don't even know if he knows that I'm a, uh, an admin on the uh, Nation or if I had my own page. So... This isn't kind of a schmooze saying, hey, you know, pimp this out. Uh, he doesn't even know I'm making this video. He's not going to know until they post it. But uh, I did want to give him a shout out and say thank you for selecting me as the winner. And I'm proud to have not only one of his personal controllers, because we know how personal that can be. I'm a guitar player, and uh, guitars are just the same. They become extensions of yourself. And um, I think it's just really cool to have one of his uh, original, original pieces. But if you check out his page, I mean, he's got he's got uh, many many more uh, items there. I'm pretty sure they're all for sale. He's got some custom uh, some custom orders that he's posting. Um, he's got a really neat goldish green Zelda one that you really have to check out. That thing is sexy as hell. And if I had the money, I'd scoop it up, even if it already has an owner. I'd make him an offer he couldn't refuse. But yeah, when you get a chance, go over to a Facebook.com forward slash Rocket Customs. His name's Weston, he's a great guy, and I wanted to thank him for the controller, and I can't wait to get rocking on this thing. Thanks, bro. Tari Creep just saying, hey, everyone stay cool, keep gaming, and uh, boo bye Alright, let's give this sucker a home. Perfect. Even better.